All right, well, we found the offer's tomb, so where to next? I'm assuming we have to go higher up into the actual church-like building, which I thought was where the friar was going to be. Apparently not, though. So, oh well. We'll just do our best. No rats around here, right? Cool. All the rats are fixing the uh, scaffolding that we broke. That's as it should be. Wow, there's a lot of dead people here. Rats. All that way for nothing. Well, there's got to be a way to climb up higher. Oh, it's right here. Whoops. There's a campfire. Oh, wait, that's not a campfire. They're burning the archways. Uh, maybe we can put that out. Oh, wait, never mind. There's jam. Obviously, we gotta get the jam. Yeah! Okay, but now, now let's try to put out the uh, fire. Priorities first and all that. Um, I don't think there's really an option for us to pick something up. This is where we're having the feast! What a waste of food. Oh, hi! Friar Thomas, are you alright? Dear me, I'm not sure. Quite shaken, to be sure, but alive. Oh, unless we both got onto the dark forest unawares. Yes, yes. I'm still here at Sexton's Hill, though. I haven't seen you in several moons. I understand you've been rather busy with preparing and training. Am I correct? I'm quite happy, to be sure. I hope you know that... Just as I've always been right here with an open door and a warm heart, and perhaps a mug of plum brandy now you're a bit older, you can always count on this place for rest and good counsel. At least as good as I can offer. But, of course, now isn't quite the time, is it? Okay, wait, so this is the friar's house. Are we just, were we just too late? Did they give us only five seconds to save him? Because it said we failed the mission to go and save him, so I guess he's here. And it looks like there's blood on the, uh, board behind him. But also, based on the way he's talking, it sounds like he's not in danger of dying. Where did the rats come from? What do those savages want? Sea rats, by the looks of them. Vicious scoundrels scavenging for supplies, most likely. Uh, they're cruel, but aiming more to steal than to kill. Or so I'd gather. Pirates, really. I've seen their kind regularly when I was near the coast. But these Corsairs are far too inland. I can't imagine what brings them here. But it gets worse, I'm afraid. We were attacked by a mere scouting party. Which means there are likely more behind them. Lovely. Uh, where's my wife? Yes, yes. Remarkable. Saved us all with that quick wit and even quicker firebrand. None of us would have made it otherwise. Nice. Come now. Let me help you to your feet. Thank you, child. I don't think I didn't notice... Oh! Fi I finished the pirates without being seen. I definitely got seen. Surveying the broken remains of his graduation party. He was struck by several emotions at once. Anger. Sadness, fear, and indignation. They all rose up in his heart together. But the strongest of all was the grim awareness that it was less than an hour ago that he was recklessly longing for adventure, only to find that Captain Robin was right. Living it was quite different than he'd imagined. Once he'd gathered his wits, the sextant told a tale how he'd been full front for the Corsair sneak attack and also for Sophia's courageous defense. Seeing his concern, the wizened old friar assured Liam that Sophia was quite all right, and that she'd drawn the beast away, allowing several villagers to escape in the ancient catacombs beneath Sexton's Hill. Liam was filled with pride for his brave, betrothed Sophia, but worried to learn that she'd insisted on running headlong into town to fend off the raiders. As the two mice peered northward with Liam's new way glass, they spied a growing chaos of frightened mice and pillaging pirates. 
but Sophia was nowhere to be seen. Even I also... us, <laughs> gathering to the south, they could see a long line of marching rats. The bulk of the attacking force was less than an hour's march away. Oh. With the road blocked and no cover, there was no way Liam could reach the lighthouse that way and remain undetected. But then the gentle friar revealed a secret passage in the crypts that led to a twisting maze of vaults and halls beneath the village. Perhaps the subterranean path would get Liam down to the water's edge. Handing him a lantern, the friar's last words hung in his heart like dead weight. Hurry, lad. Sophia is down there somewhere, and she's alone. Okay. If time was so important, then why'd they take the safe and slow path? I'd have run right into town and shown those brutish vermin what a mouse is made of. My word, it certainly wasn't for lack of courage, my boy. I remind you, Liam was unarmed, but more importantly, untrained. These rats were veteran murderers, formidable in fang and skilled with the scimitar. Liam would have fought bravely, but died quickly. Stealth was his only option. Not to mention Captain Robin spoke an imperative. Okay, so I was thinking that we were not going to be able to reach the White House, but as it turns out, it was actually a good thing we made the detour, because now we can take the uh, secret passageway through. That's nice, and we can follow the scent right to Sophia. I also love that we just blatantly ignored the Sexton's injured body just to grab his jam first. <laughs> so sorry, Friar, but, uh, you know, we gotta win the jam competition after all. Doggone it, these stupid mice and their competitions. <laughs> Alright, ooh. Can we peer through? Oh, that's a tunnel way, apparently. Oh, we can take a peek through. Remember your training. Most beasts only rarely look up. Hide up high. Move low and slow. Okay, we got rats. Got the smell of a wild elderberry as well. Oh, hey, we're in like the rafters. Oh, that's cool. Gimme. Give Gimme give the jam. Gimme the jam. I'm gonna win the jam competition. Even if my wife dies, I'm winning the jam competition. Okay, is there anything to shoot the slingshot? Hmm. I'm good. No, I'm not. I'm stuck on the table. Thank goodness. Thank goodness the rats were out of the way. <gasps> jam! Who keeps jam in the library? So glad I fell down. Give me that. Mm -hmm. The rats will never be allowed to win the jam competition. Oh yes, uh, I should climb up. I wonder where there's more jam around. I must have the stuff. Can't get enough of it. It's funny because I've recently taken to making jam uh, in real life. It's a newfound hobby of mine and I enjoy it a lot. Okay, so it looks like they're just kind of hanging out doing their own thing. Ooh. Enter flower barrels to cover yourself in flower. When covered, you don't emit scent. That'll be nice. Okay, so the rats are back here. And it doesn't look like they're moving. Huh, okay. Someone apparently just covered this doorway in dirt. Interesting. Um. Well, just because we don't emit scent doesn't mean we're not still going to get seen. Okay, there's a glowy thing up there that I didn't grab. Do 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 do. Ba, da, 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 da. New recipe: stuffed date honey bake. We definitely needed that. 
if we bake them stuff, date honey bake, will they let us pass? Well, speaking of which, I really should uh, read up on some of these. Wait, no. Oh, the mysterious riddle number one, Feldspar. Okay. A reminder: deliver pickerel to the full at uh, the full's moon of midwinter. Dearest Pickerel, do remember to water Ved's turn in the front hall. Sincerely, Pickerel. Oh, okay. Or Jed. Whatever. The tale of Winfrey Collywobble. I found this old tale that you were, uh, seeking, Brother Alphys. It's shorter than I remember on a... <laughs> I remember as a wee dibbon. Still, the lesson's clear as ever. I wish you Godspeed in your play, Thomas. The record of Winfrey Collywobble, Winter of the Thick Ice. Once there lived a jolly bake beast whose cart he rolled through slush. A badger beast with a bally hip and a swagger in it to his step. The cart he carried through the woods was laden with pastries, cookies, cakes, uh, flattened breads, roonies, bakes, and pies. A, c a crow he watched from overhead, uh, growling in his gullet. And fox beast Winfrey Collywobble slivered close behind. The badger beast, he heard a snap, and snarling turned around, and unforeseen the black wings swept, nabbing quite the bite. The starving Winfrey Collywobble whimpered towards the tree. The cocky crow, face aglow, perched delighted in his nest. Brother crow, the fox did plea, a modest peace I'd ask. Was I not most helpful in your thieving flight? Not persuaded in the least, the crow then turned his back. If not a piece, a call a psalm, kind bird. To even hear you speak, a beast so sightly, clean, and curved, surely a voice is sweet. Turning back, the crow now shone with an overbearing pride, and gleeful little tw uh, jitter and beak flew open wide. How right and true, little fox, how magnificent I am, a gift unto these snowed in woods. And here he cawed a psalm. The pastries at once forgot, fell down to the snow, and sneaky Winfrey Collywobble had duped the prideful crow. Yeah, you you go, Winfrey. Uh, greetings, Coil. Been a good season since I saw you last. How are fiends that going in the scout corps? My squirrel scouts are perfected some remarkably impressive aerial maneuvers that could turn a sparrow wing with envy. Since it's been so long since our last meet, it's been even longer since our scouts have mingled. This winter has been a fair bit mild, and it got me thinking. Perhaps some good ice training was in order. Slush grappling, berg hopping, snow tracking, moss mulching, you know, all that good survival stuff that only works when all the leaves and uh, are fall and any warmth has left the forest. One of the barktail lads has recently rode a large chunk of tree bark down a snow drift and performed a most elegant dismount. Face first into an icy river. The lad nearly lost an ear in the chill, but of course, all's dandy now. Anyhow, I heard the wee lads waken from that uh, map with an ill temper, and this uh, kind male mouse has been waiting on me to finish his rounds. But be in touch, will ya? I'm beginning to think you're avoiding this old bush tale. After all, I, I still owe you that drink. Your friendly furry courier, Barley Buggleweed. Thanks be to Redwall. Special thanks to the Order of Redwall Abbey. I would like to extend a special thanks to Redwall for the medicine they sent last season. Twixie is feeling worlds better, and the swelling has finally gone down. We would love to come and thank you in person when he feels he's well enough to travel again. And please, pass this along to Brother Rufus. It was very caring and helpful. You have some very special individuals there in Redwall. Best regards, Barktail family. Brother Rufus! From the OG book. Okay. Is this guy, like... Can I actually just walk right behind him and he's not going to see me? Because I'm not emitting a scent? It appears that's the case. I'll just go very quietly. Tight squeezes will scrub the flower away. Okay. I'm liking the gameplay here. Okay, um... I think if we open these doors, it might lead to us getting seen by rats. I don't really know. Oh, that's a window shutter, actually. Oh, hey! It's like The Last Supper, but with mice. How grand. Any jam? Yes, let's light the lantern. Okay. What happens if we open up the... Oh! -ho! Look at that view. Oh, that's beautiful. I like the spore effect. There, bathed in silver moonlight, the Lily Grove catacombs stood as a grand, if dusty, example of the craftsmanship of the moles. 
Long centuries before the spectacular vault was built by the mighty Runebro clan, in celebration and gratitude of all that Lidigrove had become in its heyday, which even then was long, long ago. And though its splendor had faded in the steady flow of time, it was, and still is, one of the most majestic sights in all of Mossflower Country. It is very cinematic here, for sure. And hey, it's a friend! Goodness me, a scout! I'm saved! Uh, who are you? One of the River Mouse urchins? Ah, oh, Dibbons. Why in heaven are you playing dress-up at a time like this? I'm a married Great man. Scott! You're right, Mrs. Ivy Wayne. What was I thinking, burgling the scout corps for official kit and sneaking down here to find you? Oh, I must have been knocked on the skull for sure. Am I bleeding? There's no need for sarcasm, my boy. Please accept my apology. I was only pleasantly surprised. Uh -huh. <laughs> to the point. What was it? Liam, I think? Oh, what are you going to do? There are rats everywhere. I have a slingshot no done, and jam. I'm pleasantly surprised myself. For the rats, I'm working on that. But rest assured, I'll think of something. Indeed. I'll just wean it. Rescue doorbell optional. Well, depending on how much she's snarking yeah, at me. Wayne, I'll crank you up to your shop cellar using this. Dumb waiter. Wow, that was like the easiest quest in history. Really? <laughs> I was about to say like, well, if she it depends on how much she snarks. That'll depend on whether or not I actually help her out. And then it's literally just press one button and then you save her. Wow, all right, sure. Also, they say there are rats everywhere. They don't seem to be around here. I am digging the soundtrack for this game though. I'm a big sucker for the Celtic instruments. Oh! Hi! Hey, I'm so tired! Maybe he's gonna go to sleep and we can sneak past him while he's uh, slipping. Or sleeping. I hope it's not a bad idea that I'm opening all these doors. I just want the nice view. Okay. So there are some rats around here. Okay. Gotta be smart about this then. That squeaked a little bit. I was a little worried that he was gonna be like, Oi! Who's doing that? Right, Grandpa. Can't think of anything. Okay, I'm not sure. Was it because I extinguished the candles and he's like, Oi, who's doing that? <laughs> Probably. And the Lord said, let there be light. Okay, I'm going to follow him. Oi, still loo, up and down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. <laughs> Don't listen to Oh, he's going for the ale. Of course he is. Well, where there's ale, there's jam. Ooh, seen the love letter. How scandalous. <laughs> okay, so he's just kind of pacing around the room. Let's see which... Yeah, so he's just going to be pacing back and forth, I guess. All right, mate, how about you turn around? Oh, cucumbers in the air. Give me that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I don't believe that. I just made that up. <laughs> The checkpoints could be maybe a little more generous. <laughs> I 
I salute up and down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night's in just a day. No matter. Plenty of strong, feisty air down here. That'll do. Okay, so I didn't realize that that was a dead end. The only thing back here is the scandalous wall. Oh, oh wait. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a lockpick of some kind. I also think there's a, uh, there was a barrel I could interact with, but I think it's just filled with flour again. Yes. Oh boy, a recipe for October ale. <gasps> uh, uh. Oh, forget it. I'll just go in here. Oh, the tavern inventory. That'll be very valuable I'm for escaping fly. the rats. You cannot be this stupid. Is that the same rat, or... Or are there two rats in here? Bro, are you gonna move? Okay! <gasps> I can't believe I got out of that alive! Wow! <laughs> I'm still confused! Gothic, the Roanesque, and a wee touch of Byzantium. Very tasteful. Very elegant. Wow, that rat knows his stuff. I went to college for archaeology, but then I joined Clooney's Horde because he promised me a lot of gold. Mr. Hey, how's it going, bro? I didn't expect to see you down here. Are you quite all right? Oh, surprised, are we? And it's a kebab crane. Perhaps you mean to say you hope not to find me down here safe and alive, instead of stuck on a pike, eh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. I only mean your tavern keg vault is likely the safest hiding place in the whole village. Yes, well, it would have been. Except I was in the middle of rotating stock when the brutes arrived. But never mind that now. You're a scout, right? Isn't it your job to take care of such things? Get me out of here. He's a lovely man. Rescue Ichabod. It's very optional. I don't really want to do it, but, uh... Here, Ichabod. Can you just go to the dumb waiter? Or is this where we have to go into the, uh... Tavern area? Where's it? Get the brutes out of here. Okay, I'm not gonna open it. Oh, wait, no. That's... Ugh. I thought the, the rat was behind there. He weren't. Family! Okay, let's definitely go in here. You failed to save it. If I fail to save Ichabod, then whatever. I don't really care. He's, he's kind of a prick. New mail! Letter to Mommy! Oh, that sounds sad. Ooh, and what's this? Dibbin's grape. Um, you mean just a grape? Wait, I gotta, I gotta read some of these. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, signed love letter. I was not sure what to think of you at first. Beautiful, yes, but beautiful in the same way I find a baked apple. I have never been one for words, but let me try. I once disliked apples, yet I was continuously fooled by the presentation of brown butter and cinnamon, only to be left with a bad taste in my mouth. And now, nibble by nibble, I've become fond of apples. Remember when you put your scarf on a snowman and tried to snuggle me instead of just taking your scarf back? 
I thought you were a baked apple, trying to disguise a bad flavor. Now, it's hard to imagine why I wasn't fond of you. I guess what I'm saying is... Well, shoot. Uh, how do... Oh, how do we make October Ale? This is very... Two parts ginger beer and air, uh, one part grape juice, and one teaspoon of sugar combined, and chill to brew. Wait, that's it? I can make that. Grape recipe. Grape. Find grape. Eat grape. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best recipe there is. Um, where's the letter to mommy? Deliver to mommy at Lily Grove. I love you, Tim. Aww. I hope they all didn't die. That would have been sad. Okay. Oh Let's my gosh. Try this, Mr. Corn Silk. A bit cramped, but should get you to the shop cellar just fine. Bruh, are rescuing people always going to be just this easy? Just press a button to turn the crank? Okay, then. I'm the greatest hero of all. All right. Let's take another dip in the flower. Prepare to be amazed, though. Okay, they're done. The rats seem to have left this area. Okay, there, he, there, that guy is. Hmm. This rat is very unobservant. I hear stuff breaking! Can I knock him out? This is a rat, right? Sure looks like a rat, but he's wearing glasses! If we close the door. Nope, that doesn't even distract him. That guy's just content to sit in one spot and stare at the wall, doing nothing. Alright, well maybe we go in this side. I think I see it. Jam! Gibby, 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 gibby! Yum, yum, yum! Jam competition! If I don't win the jam competition at the end, I will be quite shocked. The new lore, Dibbin's Declaration. We gotta read this. This is gonna be good. Dibbin's Grape. Dibbin's Declaration. Here it is. I demand a formal apology from the little folk of the grotto, or it is to be war between us. Do you know how timely and difficult it was to secretly gather dates and nuts and honey? I promised Edith a special share just to keep it a secret. It was to be the best surprise ever. Instead, I was the one surprised to find all the hard work carried off into the cracks behind Founder's Fawn. You better have thoroughly enjoyed them. Cinnamon the Sweet Maker. <laughs> That sounds like a Dibbin problem for sure. You know, maybe I shouldn't be destroying all these pots. I was trying to do it to distract the rat up here. Oh. Smoke screen! They'll never see it coming. There's no lore in here? I mean, we got jam, which is pretty great, but, like...
No, there's a piece of lore right there. Oh my gosh, wait. You cannot be this stupid. Oh. There we go. How are you not being distracted? Is this guy blind? Just kidding. Quit stalling! I want to know what happens. I'm so confused. How do you get past that guy? He doesn't get distracted, but he'll still see you if you try to pick up the ancient scrolls. Hmm. Quite the pickle, this one. Even that didn't distract you, bro? Seriously, how does this guy not notice when I shoot something right next to him? And I think we need that. That's a key right there. That is not optional. Oh, that's not good. Can't climb back up? Are you serious? Oh, oh, oh! Can we cheese our way out of this? Probably not. Hi! What the heck? This guy is the most unobservant rat I've ever seen. Except when it matters. Can't get me. This room seems easy to get stuck in. Just kidding. Okay, this is getting a little frustrating now. Maybe I don't want to... Maybe if I can distract him with my scent. Okay, me yeah. I'm gonna try not applying the flower to myself. Maybe you need... Maybe he can only be distracted with your scent and he'll move as a result of that. That or we have to find ways of, like, making a lot of noise. But I feel like even that's not working, because I'm, like, ringing the bell right next to him, and he's just like, I ain't folding for that. Okay. Maybe if we climb to the catacombs with our scent fully intact. Okay, yeah, like, we can push this. That didn't seem to do anything. Why is he just staring right at the key? I guess maybe if it's his job to guard the keys. There's a barrel back here. Well, I'm kind of stumped on this one. Because the rat's not behaving the way the other rats do. I'm wondering like, if, I, if I extinguish all the candles, will that make him go away? Because it seems so weird that we can like put out the f sets of free candles in this room. Or at least some of them. But that didn't lead anywhere last time. Okay, I have lit I have literally no idea how the heck to do this. What on earth? Stupid rat. Well, here's a question. Do we even have to grab his keys? Because we grabbed another rat's keys. 
Like, if we try proceeding forwards... Hmm... Maybe. I guess we'll just have to figure that out next time. <laughs>